Hello Rapid Fighters, welcome to one more uh, video of a big unit for Rapid Fire of course and this time uh, a heavy uh, armor division uh, for the Americans uh, from uh, Normandy on. Um, uh, this, this one can be, uh, can be the, either the, the, the second armor division, the famous Hell on Wheels, or the third, uh, the Spearhead uh, armor division. Both of them had the same structure. The uh, structure of this division was slightly different from the ones from the light um, armor divisions. They had more tanks and more, uh, of course, more battalions. Uh, the armor divisions, uh, the heavy armor divisions, had um, uh, four Sherman tank battalions and one light tank battalion, while the the light um, uh, uh, armor division had uh, three uh, Sherman tank battalions, but inside that each of that battalion was a, a company of stewards of of, of light tanks. Uh, so let's see let's see what we have here. So here you have uh, combat command um, A, uh, combat command uh, B, and combat command R, uh, which was the reserve. Um, they don't have the same structure. These two have exactly the same structure. These two here, A and B. Um, the R is very different, as I'll show you. So uh, uh, each of the both A and B uh, combat commands had um, two battalions of Sherman, one mechanized uh, infantry battalion, and then uh, the self-propelled artillery priests, um, the reconnaissance here, the supply, and the um, uh, tank destroyer company each. Okay, so here is the same, you can see here the same, and also here is the same. Um, let's see the vehicles, and first let's let's see what these things are based on, of course, on the, on the um, uh, Normandy battle group book by our masters uh, Colin and Richard um, you can also see more or less the same in the previous book of the rapid fire 2 uh, there's there was also the more or less same organization uh, with some slight differences not namely the basing of the figures and little else a few things more um, uh, for instance, I use this book which is quite nice from uh, Sherman in action by by from Squadron signal and also this this memoir, you remember the ones I showed you for, also for the twenty first Panzer. I also have the the, the American uh, uh, charts, um, and they were produced by Britannia many years ago, uh, and they are also helpful because as they have a different um, ratio of figures and tanks and miniatures and vehicles uh, in relation to reality, to reality, one to ten in terms of men and one to five in terms of vehicles. They are a little bit more detailed than our rapid fire ones. So let's see, for instance, the first the first uh, tank battalion. It is based on the M41. The M41 was was one of the main most important tanks in the Normandy campaign uh, because uh, the Americans arrived with plenty of them in Normandy. Uh, for instance, the famous M43 that you can see here um, arrived uh, as replacements for the the ones for the M forty ones that were destroyed, and mostly uh, they were in the in the in the in the third army in the famous Patton's third army. So they arrived a little bit later, uh, massively at least. Most of the models are, um, for instance, here you can see most of the models are um, Eshi. Uh, this is the command uh, tank with generally several figures, at least several figures for the command, um, with. Plenty of extras, as, as usual, that uh, armor plate on the, on the turret, the side armor plate, and of course, plenty of stowage. I made this in all my Shermans, and they become, I mean, relatively unique, because you can find almost a Sherman equal to, the, to another one because of the stowage. So they become also interesting because of that. Um, the M41 had a particularity, which was uh, this, this, this bulk, uh, the hull was a one-piece casting, and it was the biggest one piece casting produced um, for uh, for tank uh, in history up to then of course up to 1942 
um, even if this is now, of course, 1944, of course. Uh, you can see here uh, also a dozer uh, from Britannia, which was also important, especially to put aside destroyed stuff on the roads, and also to push a little bit the uh, edge roads when there was no Kalin edge road device. Um, you can see here the uh, 105 millimeter version of the of the Sherman support gun. You can see here also each battalion has one of them, uh, uh, and half track with the 81 millimeter mortar. These ones are from Azegawa. Most of them are Azegawa. If you are Altaya, uh, also another important piece was of course the, the recovery vehicle based on the Sherman, the M32. This one is Mini General, but with extra, plenty of extra pieces, as you can see, the mortar, uh, I mean, all kinds of stowage, all kinds of of, 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 um, of details were added, machine gun, the, the, the extra wheels, um, uh, plenty, plenty of things were, of course, uh, scratch built in order to have a more complete model. Uh, the M41, based with uh, on the you can see here, based on the, uh, with the 75 millimeter gun, sorry, uh, is uh, coupled with uh, a few of them with 76 millimeter gun. This, in fact, only happened from mid July. Um, and uh, and uh, it is a feature common in all battalions. Um, the 76 most, uh, 76, 76, sorry, uh, versions are mostly um, uh, Italian. Uh, no, no, sorry, Revel. These ones are Revel. With, with, in this case, with the uh, Azegawa crew. So this is the M41 battalion. Now there is an M43 battalion also. Uh, there are two variants of the M4A3. You can see the first one here. Most of them are armor fast with plenty of add-ons, like for instance those those plates that you can see in the front to try to increase the protection. Uh, also extra armor plates on the sides, sandbags, stowage, etc. antenna. And this is the, the, the one with inclination of uh, 60 degrees, which was then, which was followed by, by this one with a, with a 47 uh, degree inclination in the, in the front armor protection. So uh, this model um, made uh, was even if if the inclination was less, the idea was to not to have shot traps. If you look carefully at at um, at uh, the previous model, uh, because of the of the uh, vision uh, vision ports, there was some some possibility of a shot trap. So uh, later on, the, the American army produced it with with um, with uh, less inclination, uh, which was not good, but on the other hand, avoided the uh, shot traps. Uh, more of the same here. Uh, more armor fast, plenty of armor fast in this in this battalion. And um, this one here, the third battalion, is is almost uh, almost uh, seventy five millimeter only. There's a seventy six millimeter here. Has a command version, okay. Also from Revel, you have uh, then here from uh, uh, one hundred and five millimeter from Altaya. Uh, this one is also Altaya. Is the mortar? Is the M four mortar with a, a different uh, olive drab paint? And these ones are the famous um, airfix. Uh, I mean, this was not very. Common, but there are still plenty of them in in, in European um, uh, theater of operations. Uh, I made also some, of course, to avoid the shot traps. Um, extra plates you can see in the front, uh, also also to the sides, and um, storage, of course, plenty of stuff. And you can see them. You can see them even in in in, in pictures uh, of the time, mixed sometimes with with much later versions. This tank was still useful and used in 1945. The fourth battalion here, um, 
is a is a is a mix of stuff. I mean, it's even a little bit larger than usual. It is just like that because it can be it can be interchanged with other models from from the from the um, four battalions. It is not in fact uh, a real one. It has, for instance, it introduces this group of five here, which are the HVSS suspension, which are the last model of the Sherman in World War Two, with a seventy six millimeter gun also, and. Um, also some jumbos here you can see a jumbo which was a, a special sherman to endure plenty of of punishment from the german uh, anti-tank guns it had extra extra armor protection very thick mantlet you can see there uh, extra protection everywhere and you can see for instance my own conversions of the of the jumbo and you can see here the add-on of the of the front armor plate the very thick uh, mantlet, also the extra turret um, armor. This is also based on the Armafast uh, M483. Okay, and um, these ones are. Uh, I mean, this one here is Nito. The other one is uh, is I think Frontline. This one here and other ones are those over there are also Armafast. But these are the Azegawa uh, Easy Eights, as they were called. Uh, M43 E8. Uh, and now uh, the tanks of the reserve uh, uh, reserve uh, combat command. They are in fact M3s instead of M5s. I made them M5s by converting them many many years ago, in a very crude way. At least there is Kalinagero device, as you can see here. Um, I mean, they became more or less similar to to M5s, but with so many flaws that I cover them with with bushes and things and and, and, and and plants so it can it can I mean at a distance it can look it can look like an M5 uh, and there is of course still a vacant place here for of course three PSC uh, M5s that will come hopefully uh, soon um, so this is about the tanks of the of the of this heavy armor division now let's go to the armored infantry so the infantry itself is is, is, a, is the usual mix of brands i mean uh, azegawa uh, airfix um, atlantic eshi old airfix i mean plenty of different brands everywhere also some conversions of course as usual um, there is plenty of different plastic brands the 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 half tracks are mostly the Azegawa ones with plenty of seated soldiers or standing, fighting, whatever. I have them in several, several modes. Uh, but I like to crew these guys uh, a lot. And also, this is a, this is a complete conversion for the command version with extra radios, plenty of antennas, as you can see. Uh, this is the, there is one for each of the three. Um, battalions also another mortar version and the one that is covered in all battalions is in order to for me to to know which is the one that is towing the 57 millimeter gun now for this uh, other arms of service if i can call it supply with um, the very old uh, polythene uh, airfix uh, gmc's uh, also some uh, Azegawa here, then uh, Armorfast um, Armor M10s, okay, with plenty of extra details. Armorfast is a great brand, but they are not famous for detailing too much the figures, the figures, sorry, the, the, the vehicles. So we have to do it, but it's the, the models are so well built and so easy to build that you don't lose much time um, placing extra stuff on them. Uh, this is the reconnaissance here, reconnaissance squadron, of course, and you have here the M8 Greyhound. This one is from Frontline, with usual extras. And also, finally, the, the M7 Priests. You can see this one here. I think this one is in Matchbox, if I'm not mistaken. But I think this one is not, and this one is Anita Fujimi, if I'm not mistaken.
I think so. So it repeats itself here, this group, uh, and also the infantry, another group uh, here, and uh, more infantry here. I mean, these are more or less the same. Uh, let's move to a few more things. This is the command group, a made-up command group for the light, um, for the light uh, uh, Combat command, I mean the combat command R, the combat command a reserve combat command with um, with dodge from Ershi. Uh, this one is a six wheel dodge with um, from from Altaya, sorry. More uh, M4s with um, mortar. And finally, um, some corp support. From here, you can also make uh, an infantry division. My idea is also to uh, use these three uh, infantry battalions together with these uh, nine and a few others I have in the shelves, uh, GMCs, trucks, together with these um, three uh, uh, infantry, um, American infantry battalions, and you have a total of six battalions, so it's close to the nine battalions that you need for an infantry division. And also the corps, as you'll see, the corps support will also help because here you have a, a 105 millimeter uh, battalion, uh, complete scratch built pieces made from scratch, and with uh, with also infantrymen transformed into artillerymen. Uh, then you have proper uh, long toms, 155 millimeter guns from Azegawa and toes itself uh, toes. Are also sorry, uh, Azegawa. You have this one here, just to show off. Of course, the, the one from uh, this one is uh, Altaya, and uh, then you have some some uh, some SP artillery with with the with um, the one hundred and five and fifty five millimeter guns placed on the on the Sherman uh, chassis, which was called M twelve. This one is. The version from uh, Altaya with uh, crew from uh, uh, Irregular Miniatures. And these ones are plastic miniatures, plastic figures converted to artillerymen on, uh, I mean, serving um, Eshi uh, M12, as well as the other one. Now you have here uh, six um, Hellcats, M18s, which can replace the M10s that I've showed you. Originally, they were made for the for my for the tank destroyer battalion that was helping the 101st Airborne to survive inside Bastogne, but can be used, of course, in other theaters of operations, in other campaigns and battles. Also, more scratch build stuff. These are the 76 millimeter anti tank guns. They are based on six uh, guns. Uh, from uh, from uh, irregular miniatures, they were the 80, 85 millimeter Russian guns, anti aircraft but Russian guns, guns that I I mean I made some cuts and some changes and they look very close to the seventy six millimeter anti tank gun that the Americans used, for instance, very famously, for instance, in the Morton uh, campaign. Now, and almost getting to the end, uh, anti aircraft with another. Another um, completely scratch built thing. It is a 90 millimeter gun made from all, all sorts of stuff, as you can imagine from the image, with artillerymen here from the Revel box and other ones from uh, from uh, Azegawa, whatever. And then you have you have uh, Altaya M16 and Matchbox. M16 here and there. And finally, an ambulance. Because someone can get hurt, of course, and this might be necessary. And this one is the the one from uh, Academy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. And it also shows up in the in the black book about our supplement from Rapid Fire about the Second Ardennes and the Wacht am Rhein German operation, okay? So this is it. This is the this is the, the 
heavy armor division from uh, US armor division. Okay, hope you have enjoyed, and let's see you next in uh, something else. Okay, bye bye.